This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister.
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got this floor? Sure. All right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose, a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. 
trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso! Nice work! Now you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where you got him? They weren't waiting on my say-so. I had to move. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. was on the wall to the left of the gate. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late?
You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Stay right here. Vocês aí, que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é, falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas! Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado! Vamos! Ah, ajuda, cara! Chama uma ambulância! Vamos! Me ajuda! Fuck! Você fez bem, Max! You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! <laughs> I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, we spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. Saúde. <laughs> 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 I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. I would have called, okay. but you know how it is? You wanted to bother. Hey, Marcel. Marcel. I 
think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't I'm seen him for a while. Bless you for special week. My God, Egypt, but so you. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anastasia. <laughs> But the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but cloud you before the best. Cloud you? Fuck. Cloud you? He's really, really good. He would have been in Barcelona, Milan. He could have make it in Germany. Now he comes back here after fucking royalty. I'll introduce him. Nah, I mean, just give me a bottle of champagne, man. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking slump. Yeah, it's cool with me. It's that. Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What you fucking do it, man? Now what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, big guy. <laughs> Oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck, the people get me wrong. I think I love a wrong one. Valio! Valio! Thank God he has left. The minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in it myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toe. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. <laughs> Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. About the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area.
It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabriano. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girl. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Come on. Son of a bitch. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college at Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye. And maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Diego! Que porra você tá fazendo? Como assim você tá... Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos' luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. Ah! Oh. 
what a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls and Marcelo, but he's here now. Now, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh, yeah. oh, there they are! Quick, get after him! Are you crazy? You can't just leave her! Max, you're gonna do something! Come on! Get the rifle back there! Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Essa puta! Tem muita coisa que eu gostaria de fazer com ela! 
The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What, do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! No! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <sighs> Hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. 
it's probably that street gang trying to get at me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Hey, put the gun down. Put down your gun. Bota the sign on the show agora. Slow, slow, slow. No faça nada estúpido. Me mostra o dinheiro. What's he saying? Open the bag. Show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra. Depressa. Easy, pal. Easy. Vem. Someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. Come on, move, Max. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Christ! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max, let's go! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Still would be back there, brother. Hold on! Wait here a second! See there, Grandpa. Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. Dumb sport. Hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, All right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? 
Tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Huh. Anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Puta! Caralho, mano, não faço ideia, foi uma cilada, cara. Nós precisamos sair daqui, vamos vazar, vamos, vamos! Onde é sair? Come on, come on. Eu sabia que essa porra ia dar merda. Quem foi o filho da puta que teve essa ideia de estádio? Cala a boca, porra, se concentra, caralho! For all his friends in high places, he had just as many enemies. How much blood did you lose? Snap out of it, bro! Alright, let's keep moving! Our three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? I should have known this wouldn't end well. Uh, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? What we got here? Do you have the money? No. He might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Ai! Atenção! Ai! Que você tá se enganando? Não bate! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Ai! Não enganamos ninguém! Vou contar até três. Não sei o que aconteceu. Não sei quem são. Não, não, eles não estão com a gente. Foi ter que estar com vocês. Says he doesn't know who the snipers are. No shit. Então pra mim, como ele se amparam disso? Eu vou ser mais do que isso, homem. Precisa de um médico. Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? I think he's dead. Let's get out of here. Heads up, here come his friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians would be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. About the 
same as before. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. Wasting time, man! More trophies and game plans. It had been a very long time since I'd had one of either. We should keep moving. Okay, let's go! It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. They seem nice enough. Are they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! Last rights, don't you think? Look at this flatjack. This is high end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from him. shoulder was ripped to shreds. For once, I had an excuse to medicate. The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. Why do I always get to go first?
it was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. was getting annoying. What the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your head set on. Look, I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say. It's like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? E a menina, alguma alpinista social aí? Agora vamos! Ele tá... Oh no. Looking for something that ain't here, I guess. 
Claudio, their golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? Going up. I don't know. I'm guessing nowhere nice. Any sign of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. Clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? Shh. Shh. Gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I get a run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me. Real trouble, Max. On the stairs. 
Stay calm. All right, I'm making a run for it. Who show me the puta? Agora! Clear, Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <sighs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. God damn it! Max? Shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right wing guns for hire, ex cops, military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Jesus, they've shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldiers. way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Good. Make it quick. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. destroyed Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. <laughs>
I know. You know how to make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony. His dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Now let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out man, here, old man. Nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, and they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. fucking it up. funny. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Me. has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Huh? Hey, you don't take that from this pop. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him. But I'm oh, a star! Any time. Now say you're sorry. Get him. Get, say you're sorry. Has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop cut. Don't act clever. Yeah, I will blow your look brains look all, all over this Fuck counter. This every fucking where. Blow Come on, Tony. Come yeah, Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun oh. down now! Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, hey, hey! Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck out of here before you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm fuck off. Get you, you motherfucker. Coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I got to it. Yeah. Stay fuck right back. here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah. Whatever. Max fucking fame. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember, remember me? me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. You can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. 
Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm full. Saudi. Cheers. You got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. What you Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. Guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. They barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'm down here, but there ain't much left of it. to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Could have been setting me up for a fall. But something told me to stay put and trust him. Let's go, man. 
the bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. <sighs> I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Pain! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born and built in squalor, but today you will be Land's in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right.
Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, Episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When, in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs Bicycle Helmet Girl. Ah, help me, Baseball Bat. <laughs> I'll save you. Base is loaded. Here's the windup and the pitch. Then suddenly, the trickster Saucy presents his latest evil trick: a devilish aging ray. Oh no, Triple B! Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, Bicycle Helmet Girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat! I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh. Oh, gee willikers! <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <laughs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Good thing Hippos Hamburgers is open 24 hours. Try the Hippo Family Pack. Keep those little hippos fat. Rent was gonna have to be lowered in the building. That was something the Tenants Committee could thank me for. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Some help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. We <sighs> were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid.
walking's gonna be... I could go on alone, but it wouldn't be so much fun. Yeah, they're always one step ahead. They don't need to second-guess us when they're covering all the angles. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Show the blood so much. How's this look? these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. 
isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh, you want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River, looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a... Harbor about a half a mile up. She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, i have been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation, right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. 
last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. Keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. A dor. Com a idade vem a dor. É dor de cabeça, dor de estômago, dor na virilha, dor nas juntas, dor de ressaca. É por isso que existe Interfectum. Interfectum é um analgésico forte para dor forte. This is INC. 
We have reports of more violence erupting in Panama, where citizens are still reeling from this attack two months ago. Colombian paramilitary group United Souls of the People, or AUP, have been waging a campaign of violence and terror in the area around Bastidas, despite government attempts to stabilize the region. Staying in Latin America, an explosion of violence in Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo, as much publicized initiatives to stop feuding between favela gangs and the police have completely failed. Some local activists blame much of the city's problems on the activities of right-wing groups Cracha Preto and Nova Garda, who they accuse of vigilante-style attacks in the areas of the city where police have lost control. Some human rights organizations report a slew of missing persons in the city, a topic that many observers say local law enforcement isn't taking seriously. This turmoil is shaping up to be a hot topic in next year's mayoral election. Right-wing candidate Victor Bronco was once a front-runner, but is now falling behind in the polls. <laughs> well, there may be some political storm clouds out there, but the sun is shining in many regions today. Over to Marisol with the weather. Here we go again. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell.
Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Keep on going across the docks. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
Max! Max! You all right? What's going on? Where's they, Fabiana? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Shit, more company! Sir, tonight? How much longer? I don't know. Fucking assholes! Take much more of this! Watch out behind us, Passos! I see it! idea. Hold on.
up and should get a load of this. And they know all about it. Shows a different campaign. We're nearly there, pal. The place was crawling. How many guys they got? How many poor kids want nice sneakers? It ain't hard to hire. Hey, we're on them again. See Fabian. Who's the fuck? All right, all right. I'll get us a little closer. Who's in? Oh, just give me a second. Try it, man. Shit. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. <sighs> Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. What is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Ela se está aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. 
Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money, not my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, sí, pode entrar. Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> server room, let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go, come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. 
The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. That was the office Victor used at Fabricas Bronco. I didn't have time to thumb through the old phrase book Portuguese, but it looked like Victor was asking for campaign contributions. Rodrigo held the family purse strings, and by the looks of it, he held them pretty tight. They'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. Let's do this together! into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What the hell? shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. Hey there, Max! were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Come on. 
Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna find up there. 
but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, Something caught my eye. Figures. <laughs> Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. If I survived this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse-looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Bronco was falling apart quite literally. <sighs> Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole.
So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Branca, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Branco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided... Not drunk. Ah! then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. For years, I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. Tá ligando, hein? Alô. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so... While me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? 
I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money! How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I work my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bid people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. You lost, kid. Speak English? Uh-huh, I'm speaking English. Uh-huh, I'm speaking English. 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 I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? Yeah, he's... Jesus. At least I found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly under cover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> What do you need, guys? What do you need? 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 What do you all things considered, I was going to have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, 
was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Isso, é a coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Você escolhe um dos três palitinhos. Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapá. Ah, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't gonna help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was gonna find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me ah, dead. Passa o baseado. Ih, não tô a vez não. Passa aí, meu. Aí, tem Mr. Mando Wilson, mano? Aí, o que esse cara quer? Aí, bela camisa, hein? Tu perdeu o fusão, amigo. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco, with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm, uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired, my wife, she said I had to do something. And, well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Hey, granted, Steele ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman, about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. Hey, right, I'll say a prayer for you. Another life lesson I didn't want. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. I'm trying to dry out this, just a soda mix. Why don't you go sit down? Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Bronco. Fuck you. You were set up? Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep, he's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here, Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Krasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. They're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Bronco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Bronco wanted to develop. 
a regal bronco. Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. They let you go. It's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Bronco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. You might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Bronco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, Green. What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa pra mim? Do you got something for me? Do you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Silva left this there on purpose as some passive-aggressive message to the CS from a cop who was apparently too scared to go near any real criminals. It was a strange power play.
It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Desce ou não? Foda-se! Isso aí... Isso aí já era, não vale a pena, não. É certo. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I'd just shot up their favorite skin joint. Yet more thugs whose Christmas card list I wouldn't be on. This wasn't Commando Sombra real estate. I had to keep moving. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me.
Fabiano's market value was falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. These bastards looked different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. Say what you want about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Tropa Z. Looked like Nova Esperanza had a civil war to add to its long list of reasons not to visit. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town. This was going to be a safe medical detox. Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually you're going to get your life ripped apart.
Oxy told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust, packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene. All in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. So I decided to do my bid for the drugs trade. somber territory. If Fabiana was still alive, she couldn't be far away. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you! Okay. Don't do it! Don't do it! 
atividade! É a porra do Ufe! Oh, você fica com o grito! A galera é muito tempo depois, vou nessa, caralho! Atividade! Atividade, caralho! Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. I'll give you a minute, buddy. We'd only been married a short time. By now she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her. And I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. All of a sudden, I didn't need that time by myself. Passos was down the hill and I had to catch up to him. shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. Got that feeling too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's any left to identify the lock switch. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Valerie Winterson. One of my bullets is buried down there with her. I tell myself it was a tragic misunderstanding, an awful mistake. I tell myself a lot of things. All of it crap. 
The truth was, it was her or Mona. And I made a very bad call. This was one decision of mine I buried deeper than all the others. This way, through the gate. Something for the cold. Hey, come on. Hey, wake up. Let's go. There he is. Hey, how you doing? You heard about the thing? Hundred thousand dollars. I'm not fucking around. I'm not either. You know what? I don't trust Joe. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who left them? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look. We all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right? Fair. That's I look, all. I look like a fucking socialist being fool. An aid worker? Mm -hmm. We'll work it out together. Okay? Look. Cuz, how long we been no doing this? I'm not giving no handouts. I'm not asking for a handout. We're out here nah, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up. Whatever. Oh, don't shut whatever up. You say. There he is! Right? Joe, just Joe, look. Just Joe, look. Joe, Joe. Oh! oh. had put some distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. I got someone. I think it's the hit. That Max Payne. The other guy might be here as well. Where are you at? Over by that circular thing. The hit. He's like Latino or something. Which hit? Payne and the other one. Just hold on to him. much of a reason to keep Passos alive, whoever they thought he was. Plots here weren't cheap. I'd take a freebie. Look, man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me to be cool! You Max Payne? Who? Hmm? Very fucking funny. Whatever. You're Max Payne! I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man. Give yourself up, and DeMarco might have a change of conscience, huh? If I grant you one last reprieve, man. Ain't no reprieve, man. Gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is.
Nicole Horn's mausoleum, the woman who ordered Michelle's death. I passed it whenever I came to see my wife. It felt appropriate to leave her some dead bodies instead of flowers. Holy shit! What the hell is going on here? Don't worry about it. Just get out of here, okay? It sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor bastard, quite literally, on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! The shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Move up, man! More of them! They're rushing you! I'm hit! You okay? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. Move again! I'll give you cover! Wait on me! Quick! Shit! More guys! Shoot! Man. Man. Let's fire! Let's fire. orders to give when you're way behind the front line. Windows coming up. Great. Go on, man. Look for a shot. We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what, disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey, take it easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spit! You killed my son! Dig! No! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I of all people knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker! Yeah, I'm fine. All right, 
Follow me. Vinny Gognetti. I didn't think there was enough of him left to fill a grave. Poor son of a bitch. His antics had brought the once great house of Punchinello to its knees, and they were still struggling to stand up. Bodies didn't need them. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on. Go, go, go. You can go first. Yeah, right, gentlemen, thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. 
Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. In that awful nightclub in the stage. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. In that awful nightclub in the stadium. Docs, I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. Cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcelo and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. these raids. Renathugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. That was fair game, as I was about to find out.
55. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. 
but who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest, and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost, and they were going somewhere and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! You bastard!
Javon! It's gonna be okay. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Come on. gang way of killing people. This is no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Who did this? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Cusão morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Paso said there's a good place to hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. <laughs> I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Here, come on. This way. Pregnant. You gotta be shitting me. Me and Raul? Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere, away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different, for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse e procure por toda parte. Tem que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Okay, chef.
It's gonna be okay. Just calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Bola, bola, vamos ver isso da puta. Vamos ver eles, vá. The queen killed us. Javada, just wait there. I'm gonna be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Javada, get down. in on a parade float we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious we had to hide someplace out of the open an army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page more publicity i didn't need still the small matter of the traumatized girl sobbing behind the trash can. I had to get this poor girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. <sighs> well done. Janada. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Oh no, get down! Next room? Uh, yes, I think 
so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Good at this. Max! 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 Ah, I can't see a way down here either! There has to be something. As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém. Yes! Ela não é minha namorada. Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupa de jovem. Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco. Quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que um velho usaria. Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Acorda! Acorda! <risos> Eu te amo, Captain Baseball. 
Echo, bad boy. Echo. Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do Captain Baseball Bad Boy. With I must be losing it. There's someone down there. Our day had started with us hiding in filth, and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form, or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for parcels? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Even the Broncos couldn't afford that many votes. Wishful thinking. Maybe there was a security switch somewhere. It's a lot. What are we going to do? I'll think of something. Passos could have arrived already. We've got to get out of this place. Acabou os contos, contos, sua putinha de merda! Dá condolência pra sua família!
driven a bus before? Of course I haven't. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax, you can do this. Ready? Go. of driving. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Quick. Uh, Son of a bitch. Quick. Come uh, on. Giovanna, go. I need you to get up to the roof of this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for uh, me. Now go. Jump. Go. Uh, just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Boy, Max! Get in! Quick! I can't believe that bastard just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. 
I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? But what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Max! Max! Come on! The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, son. Nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Sure piece of New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome. Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned in Jersey, huh? <laughs> sure is funny, Max. Hey, deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the air, yo. Hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. You know that? Real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montos, just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. Not good. Bad. Real bad. Deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of... stuck up. I gotta go my dad.
The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The pirates wouldn't get everything. The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. Or maybe someone else's. The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it, whatever it was. I had a way of making any space my own. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. This was where Marcello was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Passos had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Oye, cúbreme! No te preocupes, te estoy apuntando! My boy! So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out, and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them?
It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place I'd ever known. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. The boat was well appointed. Miguel! <laughs> There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? It didn't make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls? It didn't occur to me just what the other cargo on board could be. on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel.
Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcello. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. I didn't realize you knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. We can get across up top. Why they're going across the canal. On a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists, I'd been a cabaret act. Shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality. My own private welcoming party. Fancy seeing you here.
just pretend my friends weren't there. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan them. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How do he goes rich? The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. He failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. Probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. Uh, the American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Call it evidence for Desil- Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star, bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs.
Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Passos' ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. Where those bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Uffe, that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now I just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. Da Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
this was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. Here. How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please! Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera, eu posso explicar tudo! Tudinho! Não, não, por favor! Pelo amor de Deus! Por favor, não me mata! Não, não! Pelo amor de Deus! E aí, doutor? For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. thought about this too much, I'd never get through it. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. It was locked from the outside. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats come out of their holes. <laughs>
time I bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything. We have the records. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck. We kept people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. What are you doing? 
window here. And it came back. I can see that. Why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, now come with me, Max, to Brazil. Be a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into losing the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. Was she married into a sick family? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Me, yeah, I got business to take care of. Look, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be, figure I... Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? Yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah! Tropa, tropa, ei, você! 
Mano, o que é esse cara aí? Manda tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Nossa, fudeu! Meu conta é o terço mais da culpa. Ela não desnuda dela, mano. Ei, o que é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não desnuda. Filha da puta! Não vai que por que que você vai se acontecer, cara? Tá pensando o quê? Hã? Onde é que você vem? Ah! Ah! Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What, what? are you doing? What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, you here? doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Have a nice day, guys. Club scumbag. Oh. You. Yeah, me. I am mighty. Oh, you ain't gonna help me. You get what you deserve, pal. Unbelievable. Man, unbelievable. They were legal. That pervert could enjoy his time.
was time to leave this palace before somebody treated me to an extended stay. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, Zindai was too. friend I had left in that town. It was Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell, and no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. Kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking. Drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem.
police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. Becker's blood money from the good doctor. Serrano had canceled one side of that transaction. The other was on me. Control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It seemed the anti drug squad had a few habits of its own. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer.
I'd killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. They had their body armor, I had mine. Sal Paolo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howl Passos, sent up north to find a washed-up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was gonna find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. That would have been too easy. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. was the tape from the Bronco security system. G 
Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. And you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. and still nothing to show for it. I felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. More goddamn security doors. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best.
Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Beleza, rapaziada. Bom trabalho. Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto! Filha da puta, pelo amor de Deus! love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the crasha preto for us you know i'm tough on crime i give you a bonus but i think you just fritter it away becker take his gun 
Toma, seu filho da puta! They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey. Hey. My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards. My vacation was coming to an end. Only I wasn't heading home with a sunburn, a bag full of duty free, and a dose of VD. I was making a bet that would put me in handcuffs or a body bag. These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. Uh. Oh. Well, 
passing guns. I might have known you'd turn up. Sorry. You heading home? Oh, I, I am here to pick up my daughter, but I imagine she's stuck on the plane. Uh, what are you up to? I don't know. I'm trying to make a difference. Giving back. Yeah, that's what you call it. Take care. Yeah. Judgment with a smile. You can't beat it. This was the back office. They'd be on their way to the nearby lounge. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need. They weren't here. I had to keep moving down through the airport.
The trams were running again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! It didn't work out like that. Of course, there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail me. Pain Express. out on the joke and it was a real good one slowing down, and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. A smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar. But when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks. Let me walk in the main entrance. 
I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got nowhere world to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Bate ele! Bate ele agora! Não! 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 This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I mean, just drive the fucking car! Go! We had one card left to play. Just get me close! Oh. Look! There's a whole team of them! Passenger side! Ah. Insurance ain't gonna cover this! Come on! You gotta fight this bitch! It's not going to take off the now!
coming down with that plane. Let's get it over with. Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I walk. You walk <laughs> with a lift. Justice. Away. 